can you really turn a few basic UI components into a full design system using just AI? In this video, I will show how I did exactly that. Starting from a simple e-commerce project, I used ChatGPT, UX Pilot and Figma to build a complete design system in minutes. You will learn how to pull out design logic, write better prompts and auto-generate documentation without doing it all by hand. And the best part, you don't need to write anything. All the prompts I use in this video are waiting for you in the description. Now, let's jump in. Hello people, so today I want to show how I take some components I created for a website that I designed, an e-commerce website, and then with UX Pilot, convert the minimal component that I have to a full design system, also with the help of ChatGPT. So let's dive in, see the project that I did. Here is an e-commerce website that I designed, as you can see it here, with a very simple design, with boldy stroke and very sharp corners, you can see it here. And for this project, I created some basic components. So let's see them. As you can see here, this is the component that I created for this project. That is not a lot of components. Basically, I have here some inputs, as you can see them here, some buttons. Let's zoom in. You can see them here. And a part of it, as you can see here, some card and also a select component, as you see here. So what I want to do now, I want to take this information, go to ChatGPT and ask it to generate for me basic information about the component. Why I do it? When we design an interface very quickly, we don't have always a design system in place. So we just create the website and add components with the branding style we have or some basic colors or typography, but not something solid. So as you can see here, I just added buttons, inputs, and also select components and some cards. But I want to take these components and make them a full design system. So instead of moving pixels in Figma, I want to do it automatically with UX Pilot. So the first thing is take an image of this component, go to ChatGPT and ask it to give me some information about the design. The components here are very simple, as you can see here, just black and white, not something very complex. There is not a lot of colors here, but it will give you the understanding on how to do it. So let's see one moment the prompt I used to this process. And by the way, all the prompts of this process, I will put them on the description so you don't need to write them from scratch. And believe me, it will save you a lot of time because it's take to me more than two hours to understand how to write this prompt well, so they will work perfectly. So let's one moment move to see the prompts. Here are the prompts I have, you can see it here. So let's see the first prompt. I will make zoom in. This is the first prompt. Act like a design system design expert. I am product designer who work on a website. To work faster, I created minimum components I needed. And I said to the chat, take a look on the image and take the information about the design system from it. I also explained how to organize the information well, like organize it well, like color stock, typography. Your task is to organize the information from the image in a format I write here right short okay one moment i will take this one here because we don't need this text let's take this one out perfect and i explain to here what is the format the supporting colors spacing and sizes and i give it a format and basically what i do here i explain to chat how to write me the answer okay and it's very important when you do it to say it write short because if not it will start to write a lot of information but for now we don't need it so let's move to ChatGPT and let's see what it's give for us i'm here in ChatGPT. you can see the image here is the prompt I showed you before, and let's see the result. You can see here the result it's give me. You can see the color colors, like black and white, the color system, supporting colors, the spacing, as you can see it here, the stroke and the radius, and some more information. I will take this one. Let's go to Figma, and I will show how I adapt it to my specific needs. Okay, here we are in Figma. You can see here the result that ChatGPT gave me, like the core colors, color system, supporting colors exactly i copy paste it from the chat to here but it didn't give me the exact information that i want so i need to adjust and that is very important do not copy and paste the information 100 percent take it read it adapt it and then you can continue because if you copy and paste the information for ChatGPT, it will not be 100 percent accurate and accuracy is very important when you want to work because every person can copy and paste from ChatGPT and get a result. But if you want to work organized and get good result, you take the information chat gives you, review it, modify and continue. If you copy and paste, basically nobody needs you as a designer because copy and paste everyone can do. But take the information chat gives you as a starting point modify add your values inside and continue this is the way you should work as a designer so let's see how i modified the information chat gave me here's how i organized the information you can see here the primary colors this one is very dark color secondary it's very soft color and i didn't want to use black and white because if you work with black and white and interface it is not comfortable for the eyes to read because the contrast between black and white is so huge and it's not give the eye very elegant feeling when the user read it so you can see here that i changed the color also the color of the text, the background, placeholders. I also here add a stroke of four pixels. 
Okay, and add the color of the stroke. I explained that I want the design system will be 40 pixels height, and I want to use grid 8, as you can see here, matte scale in 8 pixel steps. And also I add information about the typography, as you can see here, that I want that it will use inter with bold, semi bold, and regular. Once I have this one, this will be my system prompt, and I will paste it in UX Pilot. But now we need to get an information about some component that I want to generate. So this will be the next prompt. Okay, this is the second prompt I have. Let's zoom in. I said it, act like a design system expert. Here's information about my design system. Read it only after finishing what okay and below i add all the information that i modify so all this information this one i paste it here now i go to chat gpt paste it there you can see here is the prompt act like a design system expert i paste it and then chat said me okay i do it to explain the chat information about my design so now we have the second prompt let's move one moment to figma here is the second prompt and as you can see they are in the same frame and that's because first of all we run this one and in the same chat we will run also this prompt so let's take a look one moment on this prompt i said to chat perfect now write requirements for all the components for my design system and here below I add all the components I want chat will generate for me. Below I explain the template I want it will use. I say, use this template and fill it with each component. So I explain the component name, the component name design system doc page. Okay, this will be like the title, some sections, section one, section two, section three, and below, and this is very important, I add the example of a button component. You can see it here, example. So button requirements, button design system doc page, the state, the shape, the border, the typography. I do it because with this one shot prompt, and if you don't know what short prompt means in the world of AI, one short prompt means one example, okay? If you're here in the world of AI shot, it means example. I add this example to explain the chat exactly how I want chat will respond to me. I copy this one, paste in chat GPT, and let's see the result. And here you can see the result typography system and all the requirements, button requirements, I have the input requirements, text area requirements, and more and more and more. But I want to show you one moment before we generate everything in UX Pilot. So I go a little bit up, you can see here in the typography system requirements that it didn't add the sizes of the typography. It's at the scale, the body, the caption, but basically what I want, it will give you also the sizes. So if I want, I will able to modify, but basically I want to have it in the prompt I will send to UX Pilot because there is will be more accurate so i select all the information about the typography system requirement i will click here on the top and this will copy all the information that i marked i add here add specific sizes to the typography system requirement i hit it and then let's see the result so it's finished and as you can see here it's add information heading one the font size line height what is the weight of the heading and very detailed information about all the typography now basically you can take the information generated modify it and make it more accurate to your result but for that demonstration i will not do it i want to move now to ux pilot and generate all the design system in one click in ux pilot so let's move one moment to ux pilot i'm in ux pilot now i select high fidelity screens the standard model i select your desktop and then i paste here the system prompt what is the system prompt is the first prompt that i use with all the basic information about the designs let's back to figma to take it from there i am here with figma now and i will take this prompt i will copy it let's see what is written inside we saw it before by the way i explained the core colors the color system the border radius the spacing etc etc the basic information about the design system that i will use for different components in the design system. so let's paste it as a system prompt in ux pilot i am in ux pilot now i paste it here and then let's go to ChatGPT and take the requirements for each component. Now let's back PT and take from there the information about each component we want to create in our design. So let's back one moment to ChatGPT. Now we are in ChatGPT. First of all, I will copy the typography requirement. I copy it from here. And then let's go to UX Pilot, paste it there. I will paste it here as the first page. Let's add another screen. I will take now the bottom requirements, copy it from here. Now back to UX Pilot to paste it there. So I finished to copy and paste. You can see here below that we add the typography before, the button requirements. I added input requirements, checkbox, radio button, switch component, and the select component. And just one more before I click generate and see the magic happened, just let you know that the link for UX Pilot will be in the description. So if you like this process, take it from the description. Let's click on generate. So now UX Pilot start to generate all the pages for our design system it's seven pages it can take some time because basically it's a lot of information to generate but in that moment you can go take a coffee and see the magic happen on your computer so one moment it will finish and you will see the result okay it's finished the process as you can see here it's created for us many pages for our design system you can see here 
that it's created the typography system. If I go a little bit up, you can see here the button that it's created for us, like the default hover, focus, and disabled one. And with the sizes, we have here the inputs. They are a little bit large, but no problem. In one moment, we will fix it in Figma. We have the checkbox, radio buttons, switch, and the select component. Now, basically, as you can see here, we created many components in one click in a very easy way. But by the way, here I created with only two colors, the dark and the light one. But for the testing, I created it with more colors. So let's see one moment what I created before. You can see here that the test I did before, I created it with a little bit color, with the yellow and the blue. You can see it here. But although I showed only with black and white in this tutorial, when you work with your system, add the primary color to the prompt so it will generate for you, as you can see here, the button in your colors, but also the other components. So what I want to do now, take all the documents we created in UX Pilot and import them to Figma to continue work and iterate on them. So I go now to my file. I am here on my file. Let's click here and I make zoom in, save it. Also, let's do it the same for the typography. So now let's go to Figma and paste all the information there to continue to iterate. Okay, in Figma now, let's open the menu. Let's click on UX Pilot. And here in UX Pilot, we click on saved. I will import this ones and that's one. Let's make zoom out. So I have all the information here, as you can see, I have the inputs, the checkboxes, the select, the switch, the radio buttons, and also the button system. So now I can iterate and create the components for my design system. I will show it with the switch component. So we are here in the switch component and we have the on state and the off state. So here, for example, what I can do, I can select this one and change the color to green. And I can select this one, change it to red. But as you can see, I need to work a little bit more here. So one moment I will fix it. And now, as you can see, this is the on state and this is the off state. And I can continue to iterate and make fixes until it looks exactly as I want. When it's finished, I can select the frames, this one and this one, click here on Figma, create component set, and I have a set of components. So of course, it's necessary to work a little bit more and organize it and tweak it and make it more solid. But as you can see, it was very easy to me to create all the components in one click. Of course, you need to work on it and tweak it and make it fix for your needs. Because as I said always, AI, it's a great and it helps designer to work much more faster, but it's not replaced. We need to put our effort, our thinking, fix the output bugs that the AI gives us. But basically, once you work in this way, you could see in this video how it's easy to generate all these components, as you can see here, in one click. Of course, it's still not click to create all this any system, and that's normal. But believe me that after I created this process, I feel that it's much, much more easier to me to create a design system in one or two hours, and that's all. And you have something solid that you can work. You don't need to think about every component from scratch. So in a case you create a website or an application, you don't have all the components, you can work in that way and create the design system you need for your project in very, very simple way. And by the way, one more thing, when you created the design system, there is option in UX Pilot to import it to UX Pilot. So every time you select in the menu of UX Pilot, I mean this menu, you can select here and select the specific design system you added to UX Pilot. I have a video about it. I will add it in the description and maybe you will find it here or here on the screen. I will put it in some place and you will see how it's easy to generate screens based on your design. To summarize this video, I had a website I did. I had some components. I take the image to ChatGPT. I created all the information about the component, tweak what ChatGPT gave me, then ask ChatGPT to create me a list of components I need with all the specification. And then we expired, we created all the components in one click. Thanks for watching. If you're looking for a product design to level up your business or you're curious about bringing AI into your workflow, my contact info down in the description. Feel free to reach out anytime. And if you got value from this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts or any question you have got. See you on the next one. Take care.